97.3 City FM. Relevant Radio, always. Hello, I am Pearl Lacanio Furi. Coming up, residents of Nungua and surrounding areas hit the streets over cost of power in the country. We have the details of the story and others here on City News Daily on City TV. <laughs> Now residents of La Teshi and Nungua, all suburbs here in Accra, demonstrated today over what they have called killer tariffs by the Electricity Company of Ghana. They were clad in red attire and wielded placards with various inscriptions. The angry residents demonstrated to show their displeasure over the cost of power in the country. They are demanding immediate reduction in the cost of power, arguing that high power bills are collapsing their businesses and making their lives unbearable. Meanwhile, the Electricity Company of Ghana, ECG, says it will carry out an audit of the metering system in these areas to enable it to take steps to address the concerns of the residents. Now, the state of some vital roads in the Adentan municipality are deteriorating at alarming rates. This is in spite of assurances from the municipal chief executive, Benjamin Angenu, that work on such unfinished roads in his municipality were to resume soon. The roads in question include those in the new Legon area of the Adentan municipality. The poor state of the roads were first highlighted by City News Daily's Kojo Ajeman. So when it is raining, we've got a problem with the stagnant water and stuff like that. When it is not raining, extremely dusty. The drainage system is not good at all. I believe this is taking a toll on your car maintenance. Seriously. Even when you ask those who have been taking the commercial vehicles, there is a rumor somebody was saying that the trail trust plying this route have reduced drastically to about four. Yes, because they wouldn't want to come. Anymore, but it hasn't increased. They wouldn't increase the fares, but maintenance would have increased. See, they're having a lot of problems. Now, President John Germani Mahama has promised to build two new ultra modern hospitals for residents in Medina. He said this at the Medina market during his accounting to the people tour of the Greater Accra region. The president says government is constructing a mini hospital at the Kekere Park to meet the basic health needs of the people there. He added that a bigger one was already under construction on the atomic Kwabenya road to cater for major cases or referrals. Later this evening, the Institute of Economic Affairs will hold the first in its evening presidential encounter series with PNC's Dr. Edward Mahama. The Institute says it expects Ghanaians to vote during this year's elections for candidates who have clear-cut policies aimed at making Ghana a better place for all. A research fellow at the IEA, Dr. Michael Ofori Mensa, tell City News Daily that candidates who have a better understanding of pressing issues facing the nation must be considered for the nation's top job by voters. In our final story, City News Daily has learned that the Inspector General Police, John Kudalo, has accepted a doctorate degree from an unaccredited university. The Ghana Police Service has issued a formal statement to confirm this. The statement, signed by the Director of Public Affairs at the Service, Superintendent Safas Arthur, said John Kudalo and the degree from the US-based Day Spring Christian University. The statement comes at a time when social media users are mocking the IGP for receiving the degree from an allegedly fraudulent university. It is not clear yet when the IGP took a PhD course and the nature of the program read. Now, the Day Spring Christian University is one of four universities listed by Ghana's National Accreditation Board as not meeting the board's accreditation criteria. And on that note, we end City News Daily on City TV for today with me, Pell Akanyo Furi. We're back tomorrow with more stories. Thanks for watching.